सो माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गुजराती तुषार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला विल डिस्कस टुडे ऑन द टॉपिक फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन एनालिसिस ऑफ द सिस्टम विच इज वन टॉपिक ऑफ मैकेटॉनिक सब्जेक्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ इट सो फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन एनालिसिस ऑफ द सिस्टम द फ्रिक्वेंसी डोमेन एनालिसिस ऑफ अ सिस्टम is defined as the steady state response of the system to a sinusoidal input signal so when sinusoidal input signal is given to the system whatever response is generated that is called as frequency domain analysis the sinusoidal is a unique input signal and the resulting output signal for a linear system as well as signals throughout the system is sinusoidal in the steady state okay as you know that if you apply sinusoidal signal to any system then output also will be in the form of sinusoidal wave form okay so this is called as sinusoidal input signal and sinusoidal output signal but the output differs from the input only in amplitude and phase so as you know that input and output both are sinusoidal but there will be differentiation in amplitude and phase of the wave form of output side okay so here with the help of graph also shown this is yellow curdle part is system and we are applying sinusoidal input to this system okay and output is also sinusoidal but there are two variations one is transient response and one is steady state response so transient response means there is variation in uh, amplitude and phase and steady state response is sinusoidal wave form okay so like this the frequency domain analysis that is steady state response of the system to sinusoidal input is done now frequency domain analysis is a better option with respect to higher order system so if you want to do analysis of higher order system then we have to go for frequency domain analysis time response of a higher order system is difficult to determine analytically so for higher order system we should use frequency domain analysis frequency domain analysis is better suited when it is comes to determining sensitivity of system to uncertainty okay so if you want to find sensitivity of system then you should go for frequency domain analysis also frequency domain analysis is better suited when it comes to assessing relative stability of the system if you want to find out relative stability of system then you go for frequency domain analysis okay and also for sensitivity of the system you should use frequency domain analysis so these are the advantages of frequency domain analysis and for also higher order system you should go for frequency domain analysis so the input applied is in the form of sine wave okay sinusoidal means sine wave input wave form and the equation for that is r of t is equal to a sin omega t this is the standard equation for sine wave so a sin of omega t this is the input applied in the form of sine wave and the output of the system is also some form of sine wave given by y of t is equal to y sin of omega t plus phi okay so here this is the output form of the sine wave so in above equations a is amplitude of sine wave okay so a is amplitude of sine wave omega is frequency of the sine wave okay omega is frequency of sine wave and y is magnitude of output sine wave what is y y is magnitude of output sine wave and phi is phase shift okay so as i told you the output of sine wave is changing by some am amplitude as well as phase shift so y is magnitude of output sine wave and phi is phase shift so there are definitions in frequency domain analysis so that are, those are called as frequency domain specifications so first is resonant peak it is denoted by mr it is the maximum value of magnitude it is the maximum value of magnitude mr gives indication on the relative stability of stable closed loop system so normally a large mr corresponds to large maximum overshoot of the step response so mr means what it is maximum peak in the output of the system okay so if mr is maximum then overshoot is also maximum for most control system it is generally accepted in practice that the desirable value of mr should be between 1.1 and 1.5 so desirable desirable is 
to 1.5 this is the value is desirable okay and second is resonant frequency it is the frequency at which peak reso resonance mr occurs so both the definitions are related to each, each other so it is the frequency at which peak resonance mr occurs that frequency is called as resonant frequency okay what is bandwidth it is the frequency range over which the magnitude drops 3 decibel from its zero frequency value so it is the frequency range over which magnitude drops below 3 decibels okay and that frequency range is called as bandwidth and bandwidth gives indication of the transient response properties in time okay so bandwidth gives us transient response properties in time okay so same specifications are shown with the help of graph so here on x axis what is shown frequency is there natural frequency omega okay so you can check here here this is zero is our st standard line so below that minus 3 decibels it's called as omega b that is bandwidth frequency okay and this portion is called as peak resonance okay and that frequency is called as resonance frequency okay so that frequency is called as resonant frequency and the formulas are shown over here omega b bandwidth frequency is equal to omega n into under root of 1 minus 2 zeta square plus under root of 4 zeta raised to 4 minus 4 zeta raised to 2 plus 2 so this is the formula for calculating bandwidth and uh, other formulas are shown here so peak maximum peak is shown by 1 upon 2 zeta under root of 1 minus zeta square and resonant frequency is given by omega r is equal to omega n into under root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so these are very important formulas related to frequency domain analysis okay so like this we can do analysis of frequency domain specifications so thank you so much all of you for watching this video thank you so much